So hello everyone, once again welcome back to my channel JBR Online Classes. Now in this video I am going to start part 2 from the exercise 5.1. For the previous one please check the description box, the link will be there. So here I am going to start from sum number 6. Is the function f defined by here fx equal to 2x square minus 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. Okay, if x not equal to 2 and 5 if x equal to 2. Continuous at x equal to 2. इसका मतलब मुझे x equal to 2 में यहाँ पर continuous दिखाना है. अब यहाँ पर देखिए x not equal to 2. If x not equal to then the function is this one. So यहाँ पर हम चेक करेंगे limit x tends to 2. Okay. Limit x tends to 2 के लिए यहाँ पर f x uh, limit x tends to 2. So, यहाँ पर हो जाएगा 2 into 2 square, okay? आप यहाँ पर देखिए 2x square minus 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. So, यहाँ पर equal to limit x tends to 2. अब 2x square minus 3x minus 2. अब इसका हम यहाँ पर quadratic equation को factorize करेंगे. So, factorize करने के बाद यहाँ पर आ जाएगा x minus 2 into 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 2. So, x minus 2, x minus 2 cancel out. Limit x tends to 2. Yaha par 2x plus 1. Okay. Aur jiska value aja 4 plus 1 equal to 5. Aur yaha par diya hai fx equal to also 5. So, that means here f is continuous at x equal to 2. Okay. It's very easy. x is continuous at x equal to 2. Now, next one. Sum number 7. For sum number 7 is the function f defined by fx equal to x by sin 2x when x not equal to 0 and 2 when x equal to 0 continuous at x equal to 0. Ab yapa de limit, am yapa likenge limit x tends to 0 fx so limit x tends to 0 x by sin 2x okay x by sin 2x ab upar mein hum yahan par 2 ko adjust karenge so limit x tends to 0 yahan par ek half le lenge aur uske liye yahan par 2x likhenge so 2x by sin 2x ab yahan par aapko ek formula yaad rakhna hoga limit theta tends to 0 theta by sin theta okay theta by sin theta that one equal to 1 ab yahan par dekha agar 2x ko hum yahan par theta consider karenge so 2x by sin 2x that means theta by sin 2 theta iske liye yahan par ho jayega half into 1 and that one equal to half okay that one equal to half ab yahan par x tends to 0 ke liye aapke paas value aa jayega half but if 0 that one equal to 2 iska matlab dono value equal nahi hai so, fx is discontinuous at x equal to 0. Okay. Chaliye. Now, next one, sum number 8. In sum number 8, here fx k x square x less than equal to 2, 3 when x greater than 2. Find k so that f may be continuous at x equal to 2. आपको k का वैल्यू निकालना है। सो so, पहले हम यहाँ पर लेफ्ट कंटिन्यूअस के चेक करेंगे x ग्रेटर देन 2 माइनस। सॉरी, इट्स नॉट ग्रेटर देन इट्स x टेंस टू। सॉरी फॉर दिस वन। लिमिट x टेंस टू 2 माइनस fx। सो लिमिट x टेंस टू 2। यहाँ पर देखिए 2 माइनस। इसका मतलब x लेस देन इक्वल टू 0 के लिए। सो so, अब यहां पर x का वैल्यू अगर यहां पर 2 आ जाएगा सो so 2 स्क्वायर मींस 4 सो so 4k नाउ लिमिट x टेंस टू 2 प्लस fx सो लिमिट x टेंस टू 2 प्लस इसका मतलब 2 से ज्यादा वैल्यू एंड दैट वन इक्वल टू 3 सो एज हियर fx इज कंटीन्यूअस एट x इक्वल टू 2 देन डेफिनेटली ओके then definitely these two value will be equal. Okay. Definitely these two value will be equal. Now you have to find, so find out F2. 
एफ टू के लिए यहाँ पर लेस देन इक्वल टू है सो इसके लिए भी यहाँ पर टू स्क्वायर इंटू के दैट मीन फोर के आ जाएगा ओके सो फोर के इज इक्वल टू विथ थ्री एंड के इक्वल टू थ्री बाई फोर एज योर आंसर चलिए नेक्स्ट वन सम नंबर नाइन इन सम नंबर नाइन एफ एक्स ओके सो राइट डाउन द फंक्शन एफ एक्स थ्री एक्स माइनस एट एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू फाइव टू के वेन एक्स ग्रेटर देन फाइव फाइन द के सो दैट एफ मे बी कंटिन्यूअस एट एक्स इक्वल टू फाइव अब x इक्वल टू फाइव के लिए पहले हम यहाँ पर लिमिट x टेंस टू फाइव प्लस एफ एक्स फाइव प्लस एफ एक्स के लिए यहाँ पर फंक्शन होगा यहाँ पर टू के सो लिमिट x टेंस टू फाइव प्लस इट्स टू के इक्वल टू टू के यहाँ पर नाउ लिमिट x टेंस टू फाइव माइनस फॉर द लेफ्ट कंटिन्यूस सो लिमिट x टेंस टू फाइव माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस एट ओके 3x minus 8, so limit 8 tends to 0. 5 minus a यहाँ पर, so 3 into 5 minus h minus 8, so 15 minus 8 that one equal to 7. अब यहाँ पर f 5 के लिए अगर यहाँ पर वैल्यू निकालेंगे, so f equal to 5 that means 3 into 5 minus 8 that one equal to also 7. so definitely 2k, okay? Definitely 2k is equal to with 7, and from this one k equal to 7 by 2. That is your answer. Now next sum number 10. So in sum number 10 here total four sums are there. So this is the last sum for this video. So here in sum number one, f x equal to x square minus 9 by x minus 3 is not defined at x equal to 3. Then what value should be assigned of f3 for continuity f(x) at x equal to 3? Okay, so first write here limit x tends to 3 f(x) that one equal to limit x tends to 3. Here x square minus 9 divided by x minus 3. Then limit x tends to 3. Now x square minus 9. Here you can apply a minus b. Or a plus b formula, that means a square minus b square formula. So here x minus 3 cancel out. So limit x tends to 3. Here x plus 3, and that one equal to 6. It's a very easy problem. That is your answer. Okay. Now the next one, number two. So here in number two, if x, okay. If x is equal to here x square minus 2x minus 3 divided by x plus 1, x not equal to minus 1, and k when x equal to minus 1, find k so that the function f may be continuous at x equal to minus 1. Okay, so limit x tends to minus 1 if x That one equal to limit x tends to minus one. X square minus two x minus three divided by x plus one. Now for next one, limit x tends to minus one. X square minus two x minus three. अगर इसको फैक्टराइज करेंगे यहाँ पर आ जाएगा x plus one x minus three divided by x plus one. So x plus one x plus one cancel out. The limit x tends to minus one, x minus three, and the value is here minus four. But for if, okay, if minus one, that one equal to here k. So if if may be continuous at x equal to minus one, then definitely the value of k will be equal to with minus four. Okay, so here the value of k. That is equal to minus four, and that is your answer. Now next part three. Determine the value of k for which the following function is continuous at x equal to three. And here, if x is x plus three whole square minus thirty six divided by x minus three, x not equal to three, and k when x equal to three. Okay, 
so limit x tends to 3 then here x plus 3 okay x plus 3 whole square minus 36 so write down here x plus 3 whole square minus 36 and x minus 3 so limit x tends to 3 now x plus 3 whole square minus 36 means 6 square so you can here easily apply the formula a square minus b square so first one will be x plus 3 plus 6 and then x plus 3 minus 6 divided by x minus 3 so here this one is x minus 3 so this portion will be cancelled out so limit x tends to 3 it's x plus 9 and that one equal to 12 okay now for f3 f3 equal to here k as here f is continuous at x equal to 3 then k equal to 12 that is your answer okay now the last one number 4 in number 4 here if x x square minus x minus 6 divided by x square minus 2x minus 3 and x not equal to 3 here k x equal to 3 find k so that the function f may be continuous at x equal to 3 again similar kind of problem you have to factorize the upper one and the lower one then you will got x plus 2 in the numerator and x plus 1 in the denominator so here limit x tends to limit x tends to 3 fx that value will be 5 by 4 and here for f3 that value equal to k so k equal to 5 by 4 that is your answer